happy, happy Thursday, baby. Here we go. Welcome into the show. I'm Jeff Michael. This is Sports with Balls. That's right, Sports with Weibos. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, however you guys are paying attention, podcast-wise, live streaming, however. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in, man. As always, lots to go over. Tons to go over. Major League Baseball absolutely cranking up. It is unbelievable what's going on in Major League Baseball. NFL, obviously, it's Thursday. We got a Thursday night game. Had a college football game last night on uh, as part of this 55-day stretch of nothing but ball, which is absolutely amazing. You've got the NBA doing preseason. LeBron's pissed off on Twitter. Go figure. Uh, you've got NHL starting. Uh, NHL starting in Utah as well. I mean, you've got all kinds of stuff going on in sports right now. I'll try to dive into it as much as I can. But before we get going, I got to thank a couple of people. First of all, Christian's Tailgate Bar and Grill, four Houston area locations. Get over to Christian'sTailgate.com. Find one near you. They got Bill's Mafia Bar. They've got, uh, man, they've got college game day bars. They've got all kinds of stuff, man. Go to Christian'sTailgate.com. Find one near you. Award winning food, drink specials. And I, dude, I'm not even kidding. There's goat yoga at this place, man. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, this place has got it on. Christian'sTailgate.com. Find one near you. Also, my boy Wesley Butler at Butler CCS. Fire, water, mold, roofing. Listen, I know you guys are hurt. If you're listening to Florida, I hope you guys are all right over there in Tampa after a hurricane came through there last night. If you're in Texas, especially Houston or Louisiana, call Wesley Butler at Butler CCS Incorporated. The guy is unfreaking believable. Get his info at sportswithballs.com or go to Butler CCS on Facebook. All right. Today is October the 10th. Let's get into it. What national holidays we got? World Mental Health Day. That's a big one. That's a big one. Uh, Cuba Independence Day uh, today. Caraco Day. What else we got? Uh, Fiji Day. Man. Inclusion Day. All right. Uh, International Stage Management Day. Uh, I had no idea that was a thing. This, that's, that's for like uh, bands, I guess. National Angel Food Cake. I'm not a big fan. Um, cake Decorating Day. National Depression Screening Day. Uh, here's a big one for you ladies out there. National Handbag Day. This one is the one that got me. National Hug a Kevin Day. <laughs> so if you know somebody named Kevin, a hug. Uh, what else we got? World Animal Road Accident Awareness Day. I've actually hit a moose one time in New Mexico, so I am very aware of that one. Uh, World Homeless Day. Uh, Tent City, if you will. World Day Against the Death Penalty, World Sight Day. Dude, there's a ton today. World Plant-Based Burger. That's not a burger. That's just a sandwich, if you will. Uh, Brett Favre's birthday. All right. Get them. The Brett Favre. Love Brett Favre, though. Dale Earnhardt Jr. as well. All right. There's your national holidays. Some sports birthdays for you. Um, let's go. Let's get into it today. Well, let's talk about last night, first of all, in Major League Baseball. These series are phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Last night, you had the Guardians and the Tigers. The Tigers winning that with 3-0. And the Detroit Tigers have a 2-1 to lead on the Cleveland Guardians. And they play today at 5.08 Central Time. The Cleveland Guardians may be knocked out by the Detroit Tigers. The Tigers are at home. Now, don't get me wrong. Bibby's pitching for Cleveland. Uh, if you're up, you're gambling today, I would not bet against Cleveland. Uh, I, I got a feeling they'll tie this up at 2-2. But Detroit has a chance at home to advance to the ALCS. That's absolutely insane. Coming from where they were, that is uh, just the Miracle Mets, the Detroit Tigers. I mean, dude, it just seems like a collision course at this point. Speaking of the Mets, they won 4-0 to last night, taking over the series, knocking out the Philadelphia Phillies. Is the Phillies run over? Bryce Harper, all those guys, like, is this it? Do they have more time in them? They've had a hell of a run. they got a great run. Uh, is this it for the Philadelphia Phillies? I don't know. I will tell you this. The Mets are on fire. It is, uh, it's amazing what the Mets and the Tigers have done. It's, if you're a baseball fan, a sports fan in general, it is absolutely 
unbelievable to watch. This is cinema at its best. Get your popcorn, sit down, turn on MLB. It's awesome right now. The Mets knocked out the Phillies, guys. <laughs> the Detroit Tigers are about to knock out the Cleveland Guardians with a win at 5 o'clock this afternoon. The Yankees took a 2-1 to -one lead last night against the Royals. I did think the Royals were going to pull that one out. The Yankees did. There you go. Then the Dodgers absolutely spanked San Diego at home to calm down any, uh, any notions that they were ready to go out of that series because the Padres could have put them out last night. Now, that all sets up, right? Phillies are knocked out. But it sets up an incredible Thursday today where the Guardians and Tigers, Tigers have a chance to knock out Cleveland today. And the Yankees have a chance to knock out the Royals. And then on Friday, game five, which is the other two best words in sports, the, the two best words in sports, obviously game seven. But game five, a one-game series now between the Padres and Dodgers, Friday evening, 7.08 Central Time. Wow. Hugh Darvish will be on the mound for the Padres. I do not know who's going to pitch for the Dodgers as of right now, but man, that is cinema. If I didn't have my son's baseball game at 6 p.m., uh, I would be watching that live. That is going to be amazing. That game is in L.A., where we already know the Dodgers and Padres have had massive drama in L.A. Uh, that's going to be very interesting. Can Fernando Tatis Jr. beat Shohei Otani and the Dodgers? What a game that will be tomorrow night. But before that, You've got two game fours today. Cleveland Guardians at the Tigers, 508, and then Yankees at the Royals, 708. Incredible, incredible stuff coming out of Major League Baseball. Uh, some other bad news or sad news coming out of Major League Baseball. Hurricane Milton ripped off the top of Tropicana Field in Tampa Bay last night. And if you haven't seen these videos, it's flat out amazing. When I say ripped off, I mean ripped off the roof. Half of the roof is gone. It is unbelievable to sit there and watch. Hope everybody's safe over there. Uh, I know that over 3 million people are without power. If you can, go to a site to donate, help, and make sure it's a secure site, by the way. <laughs> There's a lot of scams out there. But if you can help, try to go help the people over there, uh, that whole area. Guys, go look at the pictures of Tropicana Field. It's unbelievable. In, in fact, there's uh, 75, 80% of the roof is gone. You can see from the air, there's a drone shot straight down to the field where it is absolutely destroyed. Absolutely uh, devastated Tropicana field. Wow. So I hope everybody's all right over there. Other uh, headline news. Let's see. Rafael Nadal to retire from tennis. One of the greats. That's a big one. What else we got? As far as like breaking news, nothing huge has happened. Of course, we'll get into the NFL here in a minute. But uh, NBA, I'm, you know what? I'm not even going to do it. I told you guys this before. If y'all follow the show, and this is my 325th show or 335th, whichever one, uh, I, I, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the NBA until the playoffs start, so I'm not going to start talking about the NBA right now. I'm just not. It's not uh, – it's it's not entertaining, man. Not not at this juncture, in in the thing. But uh, what else we got? NHL started last night or two nights ago. Was it two nights ago or last night? Last night the Canadians beat the Maple Leafs. Rangers uh, beat the Penguins six to zero. Jets beat the Oilers six to zero. Flames and Canucks had a good one. And Avalanche uh, Golden Knights beat the Avalanche. So there you go. There's your hockey update for now. I'm not going to entertain a ton of hockey stuff either, man. It's just not uh, not going to do it. There's some college football. I talked about this yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry, Tuesday, where last night won me a decent amount of money. It was awesome. <laughs> and I say awesome because where is that score? What was it? Where's my scores up on there? Ah. Anyways, I won the first half bet last night. There we go. Jacksonville State. Absolutely destroying New Mexico State, 54-13. to 13. I took the first half bet, took the total. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Jacksonville State crushing New Mexico State, 54-13. to 13. Liberty over Florida International on Tuesday. Tonight, what do we got going on tonight? Thursday, Coastal Carolina and James Madison. This is an, actually a good football game. 
Let's see, gambling wise. Uh, James Madison minus nine. Oof. James Madison just lost last week. Mm. They've are man. I don't know. That's a good one. Coastal Carolina is not bad. What's the over and under on that game? 60? Whew. I may go over. You know, I'm going to write that down for one of my parlays today. I, I'm not big on a point spread on that. If anything, I'd take Coastal Carolina plus the nine points. Uh, both these teams are really good. But it looks like the over on that game could hit uh, 54 degrees. Looks like nice weather in Virginia. Uh, this is it, James Madison. So maybe the over. Maybe the over on that. Other games going on tonight in college football are Middle Tennessee, Louisiana Tech. Both one, well, one of them's Middle Tennessee's one and four, Louisiana Tech one and three. Eh. UTEP and Western Kentucky. Now, this is a good one because UTEP, uh, gambling wise, UTEP 0 and 5, 0 and 2 in Conference USA, Western Kentucky 3 and 2. Good football team. Western Kentucky minus 19 and a half. You know, this is another one of those where I'd go first half. I take Western Kentucky in the first half of this game. Maybe it's a blowout in the first half and they lay off the gas in the second. I don't know, but, uh, I'm sure it's somewhere around 12. Should be West Kentucky around 12. So I'm going to write that one down. Give me the over and the James Madison. And give me first half Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. That's what I'm doing. All right. Uh, other college football games this weekend, top 25 include Utah at Arizona State Friday night, South Carolina, Alabama. Not supposed to be a good game, but uh, Vanderbilt just beat Alabama. I, You know, Alabama minus 21. It depends on which way you lean. Does Alabama want to absolutely put the throttle on uh, South Carolina because they just got beat by Vandy? I don't know. Depends on which way you're leaning. I pro that, That's such a rivalry. I don't know. Clemson and Wake Forest, Missouri, Massachusetts. And, of course, the huge game this weekend where I wish I was in Dallas, Texas, at the State Fair of Texas, the Red River Rivalry, Texas at number 18, Oklahoma. Number one, Texas at number 18, Oklahoma. And, of course, uh, we found out Arch Manning is on the bench again, I believe, for this game. And they're going to go back to their <laughs> Quinn Ewers. I believe that's the case. Quarterback Quinn Ewers likely returns after missing two games with a strained abdomen. Yep. Uh, man, that's such a tough bet right there. Texas could run away with this game, but it's uh, like, again, it's they, Oklahoma only lost to Tennessee 25 to 15, right? That's a pretty good Tennessee team. They have blown out everybody else. Houston, they barely won. Uh, Auburn, good game. The, uh, that's Oklahoma there. Uh, Longhorns, obviously 5-0. Killed Mississippi State. Michigan, they killed. Colorado State, 52-0. What's the over-under here on this one as well? Uh, 50. Give me the over. For sure take the over on this game. Uh, I, don't, I just don't know about the Longhorns. Minus 14 and a half. They always got to throw that half in there. If it was 13 and a half, maybe take it. 14 and a half, I don't know. <laughs> but man, what a game that's going to be. Usually that's a noon tip off. It is 2 30. That's Central Time. It's now 2 30 Central Time, uh, Saturday afternoon. Fantastic game. I will be in front of the television watching that. Penn State at USC, number four, Penn State at USC. Penn State only by four points. Good football game. Number 11, Notre Dame at home versus Stanford. Pitt at home versus Cal. Uh, Illinois and Purdue go at it. What else? Is there any other big ones? Oh, huge game at 630. Wow. Number two, Ohio State versus number three, Oregon. Massive game directly after the UT-Oklahoma game at 630 on Peacock. O Ohio State and Oregon will go at it. Man, what a weekend in college football. Ole Miss and LSU. Holy crap. This is one of those, like, on Fridays I used to do, where do you want to be? I know for sure. Dallas would probably be the easy answer, but I mean, if you give me a chance to go to Baton Rouge where Ole Miss is going to travel down south to go to Baton Rouge, that's a hell of a football game. Or Ohio State at Oregon. Woo. 
Sorry, honey. Saturday, I'll be sitting in front of the television. There you go. Wow. College football this weekend on freaking point. Time to get into the big dogs. The NFL. Woo. First things first. New Orleans Saints will start rookie Spencer Rattler. Speaking of Oklahoma. He'll start versus the Bucks this weekend because uh, Derek Carr is now out, who strained his oblique against the Chiefs this past weekend. So that high-flying offense of the New Orleans Saints, wow. I'm not exactly sure. We'll go into the spreads here in a minute. Other big news, the Raiders are benching Gardner Minshew. You want to talk about a team, and I said this on Tuesday, absolutely tanking and on purpose. This is They're not even hiding the fact that they're tanking. The Raiders are just like, you know what? We're not good. It's over. Devontae Adams is having massive, massive issues over there. Uh, so they're pinching Gardner Minshew and naming Aiden O'Connell as their quarterback one. <laughs> I This is uh, – I don't even know how you explain this as a fan or to the fans. Minshew won a tight training camp battle over O'Connell but was twice benched late in his five starts for the Raiders and losses to the Carolina Panthers and the Denver Broncos. I'm sorry, Raider fan. I'm sorry, Silver and Black. Uh, It's not not going to get a good year. Not a good year for you at all, man. Um, There's not a whole lot else to say about that. Devontae Adams will be gone pretty soon. I thought it would happen this week. It is not. Not that big of a deal. But Raiders are rebuilding, and Devontae Adams is going to be a key piece of that because they're going to get some draft picks out of it. What else we got going? Uh, the Colts will miss their star wide receiver, Michael Pittman, to for multiple weeks with a back injury. Uh, that's it. That's it. As far as big, big news right now in the NFL. Tonight, 49ers and Seahawks right now, San Francisco minus 3.5, total 48.5. It's a good football game. This is a good football game and almost, I'm not saying a must win for the 49ers. You do not want to go two and four, though, if you're the 49ers at all. Seattle Seahawks, on the other hand, actually trending in a positive direction. I think they've dropped two in a row, though. Uh, Let me double check. But Seattle started off, yes, they started off three and oh, they've dropped two in a row. One to Detroit, great team, and a brutal loss last weekend to the Giants, 29 to 20. 49ers have lost to Arizona, the Rams, and Minnesota. Beat New England, duh, and the Jets, duh. Good football game. I like the Seahawks plus a three and a half. Three and a half. I almost like the Seahawks money line on this, but it just injuries, man. Injuries. Seahawks have defensive injuries. The 49ers have offensive injuries. So which one do you want to go with, right? 715 tonight, prime video. I'm going to take the Seahawks plus the three and a half along with that over in the James Madison and that first half game I was talking about earlier. I like the Seahawks in this game a lot. Other football games this weekend, Jaguars and Bears. This game's interesting as well because the Bears have played good football lately. Jaguars are one and four. This is in Chicago, and the line is only Chicago minus two and a half. I get it. Trevor Lawrence and the Jaguars won last weekend for the first time, but it was his birthday. (laughs) So maybe that was a a one-off. Who knows? I like the Bears minus the two and a half. Cardinals at the Packers. Green Bay minus five and a half. Giving the Cardinals plus the five and a half. Kyler Murray's having a quiet season. Seven touchdowns, two interceptions. I like him to blow up here pretty soon in a good way, not a bad way. So I like the Cardinals plus the five and a half. I think it'll be a pretty close game. Colts and Titans, I'm not even going to talk about it. (laughs) <laughs> Texans at the Patriots. And the big news out of this game is rookie quarterback Drake May makes his first start for the New England Patriots after they benched their quarterback as well. Wow. Houston minus seven and a half. Mm. Dude, Texans fans hate me. I <laughs> I know they do. I just, I like the Patriots plus the seven and a half in this. I like Drake May to have a pretty decent game. Um, the guy's pretty damn good. Um, if not win, if I cover the six and a half. That's what I say. Buccaneers at the Saints. Uh, Tampa Bay minus three and a half. Baker Mayfield's having a freaking incredible game. 
their city just got hit by a hurricane. They're going to be motivated. We've seen this time and time and time again in sports where something drastic happens to a city and then the football and or baseball team absolutely explodes. Give me the Buccaneers minus three and a half and an easy win because the Saints are starting uh, their quarterback, not uh, Derek Carr, like I mentioned earlier. So give me the Saints. I mean, uh, Buccaneers minus three and a half for sure. I'm probably going to put that in after I get off the air. Kevin Bauer, what's up, man? He, of course, chiming in. By the way, if you're chiming in on social media, leave a comment. Try to get to it as soon as I can. Go Cowboys, of course. Uh, we'll get in the Cowboys game in a second. What's that? Who is the next coach that could get fired midseason? By the way, Kevin, I think you commented on this. That is up on Sports with Balls on social media. So if you guys get a chance, go to Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all of them. Just go to Sports with Balls. It's phenomenal. Get you uh, some good debates over there. Browns and Eagles. Eagles minus 10. Guys, Deshaun Watson and the Cleveland Browns are a freaking disaster. At least you know if you're a Raider fan, you're rebuilding. The Browns, on the other hand, are in deep shit. I mean, it is an absolute mess in Cleveland right now with Deshaun Watson. He... I'm not going to go over it again, guys. Listen to the 50 or so episodes that I've I've said this before about Deshaun Watson. It's over. It's absolutely over. Eagles minus 10. Wow. That being said, I may take the Browns plus 10. <laughs> 10 points in the NFL game is a, is a lot. Commanders and Ravens, what a fun football game this is going to be. Lamar Jackson. Jaden Daniels, the predecessor, if you will. This will be a lot of fun, man. Baltimore minus six and a half. I'm not going to touch this game. I, I can't wait to watch it. But Commanders are four and one and leading the division over the Cowboys. <laughs> Go figure. Chargers and Broncos. Chargers minus three. I like the Broncos in this game. Bo Nix uh, maybe having a little bit of a turnaround. Steelers and Raiders. Uh, let's see. Pittsburgh minus three. The big news coming out of this game, and give me the Steelers minus three, too, for sure. Russell Wilson is full participant in practice. I don't know who they're going to start. I get it that they played pretty decent football lately, but uh, are they going to pull the trigger on Russell? Is Russell Wilson going to start? And if so, is that offense going to get start pumping? That's interesting. I like the Pittsburgh Steelers minus three because, again, Aiden O'Connell is your starting quarterback for the uh, Raiders. And I can imagine this is in Las Vegas. There will be 75% Steeler fans in that stadium. It'll be a home game for Pittsburgh in Las Vegas, for sure. Lions at the Cowboys, and probably what is the game of the week? Kevin wants to talk about this. I know he does. Dak Prescott did something last week that uh, he rarely, rarely does. He threw, for over, over 40 threw over 40 times and won the game. Very, very rare for him. Almost lost it, but uh, this should be a good test for them. Cowboys lose, they go to three and three, and they've had some bad losses. The Lions win, they go to four and one, and probably look like a Super Bowl contender for sure. Good football game. This is in Dallas. I can't imagine. The Cowboys are 0 and 2 at home. They're not even favored. This is Detroit minus three. If the Cowboys fall to 0 and 3 at home, Cowboy fans are going to be absolutely livid. Jerry Jones will have a decision to make. Well, listen, he's only fired one coach in his entire history in midseason. I don't think that Mike McCarthy will be fired midseason, but they fall to 0-3 at home. There's big, big problems in Dallas. They'll be 3-3 three and three on the season, and what's their schedule look like? Let me check out the Cowboys' remaining schedule. The Lions lose to the Cowboys in Dallas. Not that big of a deal. Cowboys lose at home again. It's a problem. 49ers, huge rivalry next week. Falcons after that. Eagles after that. The Texans uh, should be. <laughs> never mind. I'm not going to get into that now. We'll wait. Commanders, Giants, Bengals, Panthers. They got a pretty pretty easy schedule at the uh, tail end of the season. Giants, Bengals, Panthers. Cowboys may be in trouble. This is going to be. Uh, look, I'm in the business of content, right? So the Cowboys lose. It's good for me. 
<laughs> it's good for me. Cowboy fan, uh, I don't know how much they're going to be able to handle if they fall to 0-3 at home on the season. That means there's only five games left at home for the Dallas Cowboys. Falcons and Panthers, this is in Carolina. Can Kirk Cousins have another 500-yard game? I don't know. We'll see. Bengals at the Giants. Oh, by the way, that Falcons-Panthers game, Atlanta minus six. Uh, trending towards Carolina on that one. Bengals at Giants, Cincinnati minus three and a half. I said this the other day that Joe Burrow's season, he's having a phenomenal year, guys. 1,370 yards, 12 touchdowns, two picks. Quite literally the best quarterback in the NFL at this point. And they're one and four. It is unbelievable. That is absolutely unheard of. I don't know who's the fault of that, but that, give me Cincinnati minus the three and a half at the Giants. Uh, all right, that's your NFL stuff. Uh, what else do we got going on today? I'm trying to think uh, if there's any more incredible news that I need to break for you guys. The only other thing I would say, get to a TV. Watch this baseball that, that's going on. It is unbelievable, especially tomorrow's game five between the Padres and Dodgers in L.A. Whoa. Yes, I'll be. And by the week, by the way, this weekend's college football lineup, unbelievable. Kevin, I know you're listening there. LSU game. Uh, if you're going to that and have an extra ticket, uh, let me know. I'll find somebody to watch the kids. <laughs> uh, I want to thank Chris's Tailgate. Go to Chris's Tailgate.com for Houston area locations. Find one near you. The place is phenomenal. The staff is phenomenal. The food's phenomenal. Just get get over there, man. Watch the games. Go there this weekend. Watch all the college games. They've got over 40 televisions in all their locations. Go check it out, christianstailgate.com. Also, Wes Butler at Butler, CCS, INC, fire, water, mold, roofing, you name it. Wes Butler's got you covered. Go to Butler CCS on all of your social media outlets. Go to Facebook, uh, Sports With Balls on any of your social media outlets. Find Wesley Butler. Give him a shout. All right, uh, that's going to do it for Sports with Balls on this Saturday. I'm Jeff Michael. Podcast version coming up next. See you guys.